channel today is going to be a maternity haul and I thought I would just um, continue to make these videos when I have lots of clothes if I buy more or if I'm given any and such so I figured why not do maternity haul because I've been collecting some things over the last couple weeks because there's been a lot of things going on for me and will continue to happen for me so I decided to round up all the clothing and I'm going to show you guys them and also try them on as well and show you guys what it looks like on while being as pregnant I am. I am 26 weeks tomorrow and I have about 99 days left until my due date which is crazy to think because I think it's like out of 270 so I'm definitely almost in my third trimester. I have one more week until I'm in my third trimester, which is so crazy to think that I'm already at this point. I am really excited though. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm getting to the point where things are getting harder to do. Um, because it's summer, all of my clothes are pretty much orientated towards summer. And before I jump in, I just wanted to say that I have been posting a lot more on my Instagram, so check it out. I do more daily updates on um, what I'm eating, how I'm doing, what's going on throughout the day, uh, if I'm out somewhere, what I'm pretty much doing while I'm pregnant, and like just posting a lot of photos. Um, and so please check out my, my Instagram account for more updates on a regular basis. And because of that, I have also been in communication with a lot of other people, a lot of other moms. And so a lot of them have questions and a lot of them uh, I've been just, you know, communicating with about my first time as a, as a mother um, and being pregnant uh, this far along. And so I also was in touch with somebody who is really interesting actually. Her name is Emma and she has an account on Instagram and she has a account that supports and inspires other mamas out there. So women that are pregnant who've got to have a child and such. And so she shout outs new moms and helps them develop their page more and just is a sweet lady um, or sweet woman and she reached out to me actually too. I don't have a lot of followers. I only have about 50 followers right now. And so she actually did a shout out for me and uh, her Instagram handle is down below here. It's also linked in my bio. If you wanna check out her page, she um, has some really inspiring stories from other mothers and posts about other mothers who are expecting and just their journey as they go on. And so please check her out, um, check out her account and follow her. She seems very sweet. She was, I was talking to her the other day and yeah, so go check her out. So I'm gonna hop right into this maternity haul. There's quite a bit of stuff I would say that I've got uh, just because it's summertime and literally the only thing I feel like wearing are dresses or nothing at all. Like I'm just not really keen on putting on pants all the time especially with heat but also because it's just way more uncomfortable but I do have a few pants in here that I've, I've really been enjoying and that are pretty inexpensive I would say so keep chugging along with me and let's hop right in. So the first things I'm actually going to talk about are things that I was gifted from my foster mom she took me out shopping on my birthday and I, I didn't know what she was going to do. Like, I don't know uh, what she was going to buy and stuff like that. So she like took me out shopping. And so I got, we went to H&M and they're having like this big flash sale or something like that. And I had no idea. They also had baby clothes in there and oh my gosh. So I have another haul. Uh, that I'll be doing for baby clothes, which will be soon as well. I got a ton of stuff from her and just so many cute little items for the baby. So that will be coming up soon. 
and so she also got me some few items for me for my maternity because uh, I was like I don't really want anything for my birthday like if you're gonna do something for me like make it for the baby because like that's a necessity right now not me but she was like no I have to buy you something so she got me like these awesome maternity leggings so they have like the stretch top so they're like normal leggings to here down and then all that for belly these are the softest leggings i've ever tried seriously the softest and funny enough because of the fit of them i got a small because they didn't have any other sizes at the time uh that i could try on so i uh just had had gotten these but i tried them on i took them home and i tried them on and they fit They fit so nicely. These are a small, and all I've been buying are like extra large things because I'm honestly I'm pregnant. Uh, but yeah, so like I tried these on and they're small and they fit really well still. And the awesome thing is because they're small and the only thing that's different is the belly, which ride up all the way to the top and they're stretchy, I can wear these after being pregnant, which is great because who doesn't love having leggings that you could just always wear um, and you're not stuck in a closet collecting dust so yeah so she got me these really really soft great leggings which i love and they're so comfy and oh, i'm gonna show you the clip of me wearing these my belly shows so well in them it's so cute but yeah so those are those and then the second thing she got for me to wear uh was this adorable dress it's like this cute halter, long brown dress. It's got a cute scalp top and it's got like some ruffles down in the waist underneath the boobs, which cinch really well underneath me. I'll show you the clip of me wearing this. And it's so cute and it looks so good being pregnant and it has like the halter top. So this ties around your neck. Yeah, super cute. Absolutely adore it. It's perfect for summer. It's flowy, it's light, and I don't have to wear a bra because I have not been wearing bras because I don't want to wear a bra. <laughs> so that is super nice. But yeah, that's super cute. And the pants were, I think, $12, and the dress was on sale for $15. So really good deals. Check out HM, they've got a bunch of stuff going on right now. And they do have a maternity section, but it's super limited. Like the pants were in the maternity section and then the dress was just in the regular sale. Obviously I'm just gonna get a higher size in the dress. I believe the dress is a small still because the way the fabric is, mm, oh, it's a medium, which is still great because it will fit me still because I have large breasts. So that's probably smart that I got a medium anyways. But yeah, so the dress will grow with me because the band is up by the the boob area so yeah it'll fit me always which is nice so that's what i got from h and m uh on that day and then i went back to h and m by myself and i got a couple items because it's summer and like i know from like my research of things i know that we can't really go into water like you can it's at your own risk kind of thing so like if you go into lakes and oceans and stuff like that it's like more you're more susceptible you're more susceptible you're more easily to get infections because of the bacteria that grows and with it being summer like the heat causes more bacteria and so if you go into the water when you're pregnant you may end up with an infection which ultimately is really really bad for the baby because it can end in early preterm pregnancy as well as can hurt the baby so much that it harms the baby to the point where like they no longer live which is scary but like I know like tons of people I've talked to about it, they're like oh that's so weird I used to go in all the time like going to the lakes and stuff like that I'm like yeah I'm not gonna risk it because I've already had a miscarriage so I'm like sticking to my guns about not really going into bodies of water unless it's a pool that is circulating with uh, antibacterial products 
Uh, so that's my own personal opinion. But when I did research, it seemed like don't go in lakes, rivers, and oceans when you're pregnant. So I'm not. So, but that being said, I still got a bathing suit because if my friends or my family want to go to the beach or something, I'm still going to go. I'll just sit on the beach and I will tan with lots of sunscreen and shade and lots of hydration. Make sure you always bring electrolytes. You want potassium or sodium with you and water. You, you want both because you're sweating both of your, um, your water and your electrolytes. So you want to make sure you're hydrated all the time. So make sure you bring lots of stuff like that and as well snacks because you can't go wrong with bringing snacks to the beach. So, um, that being said, I got a bathing suit. I also got this dress uh, because I was going to my first host party of the summer. Go off my belly and just be like, hey world, this is me, I'm pregnant. And so I wanted to get a dress that showed my pregnancy off, but it was new and hadn't been seen yet. So I was in the dress section that was on sale in H&M. And I found this adorable, flowy, flower, flounce dress. It is so cute. So I went to Winners and I got a few things. Few things. Uh, the first thing I got was this beautiful plaid jam jacket. So it's like this peachy beige color with black and white. And it's super cute. I love it. It's got like the arms that are long. It's got a beautiful cinched waist happening. Yeah, super cute. Um, I got this because I have blouses that I don't have jackets I can wear it with. So I saw this and was like, I have to get it. It was more pricey. It was 25 which is still a really good deal. But I try and get cheaper than that. Like, if I can do it, like, 20 is the max <laughs> when it gets to the clothing. Um, because, like, I love new clothing all the time. So I'm always going to go cheaper. Also, why spend the money on something that, like, I don't know, I just don't see the point spending $200 on a jacket. Like, if you do it, do it, but, like, I'm just not that type of person. I feel very guilty and I have buyer's remorse when I do that. <laughs> so, yeah, super cute, love it, love the jacket. It looks really good, and it looks really good with this blouse that I got also from Winners. Uh, I put a white tank top underneath this to not show the see-throughness but look how cute this victorian blouse is oh my god it is so cute it's got like the beautiful ruffle in the front and the dots and then the back is see-through with the dots beautiful puffed shoulders just beautiful absolutely love this blouse like theme of that I also got a top from winners that I saw there at the same time I'm really into linen I'm really into the Victorian look I'm really into just fresh and bright for summer So I got that top and then I, at the same time, which I didn't realize how different the whites were, like one's a little more white white and the other one's like more beige. So I got like this skirt to match with it, but it's more beige, which is unfortunate, but it's so cute. It has beautiful floral design in the front. So it's got like this beautiful design. Um, and then it has like the lace at the bottom with a beautiful lace flower lace at the bottom and this fits just so well on like just a beautiful skirt so 
You can wear it with the top high up with the skirt or you can wear it under the belly, which I really love doing. It just shows off the belly really cute. But yeah, so super cute. Well, at Winners, I also got um, at a different time, I got this black version of a skirt. It's just a knit. It's kind of knit. It's a knit version of a long skirt. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so cute on and it looks so good with the belly. Uh, very cute. This one was $15 as well. So I got a black version because black you can't go wrong with. You can only wear like everything. You can wear white with everything too, but sometimes you can't wear white on white because then the colors don't match. So I got a black one. Uh, and then I also got this from the last thing from Winners. I went to get a dress for my birthday because I was having a Italian birthday. So I wanted to have an Italian look for my birthday. And I found this dress like a month before my birthday. And I'm like, this is the perfect dress. I need this dress. And then for some reason, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy the dress and I'm like, wow, I feel stupid. There's no other dress out there that I love that I can wear for my birthday. Like there's no other dress that I like. And I didn't have the other red one that I just showed you guys. I didn't have that at that point. So I was like, damn, okay, well, I guess I will just wait and see if I find something else. And then I went back the two days before my birthday to find a dress. And the dress was there in my size. The last one just chilling and on sale for $30. I was like, Brooke, yeah, I just got the dress that I wanted the whole time for cheaper and it's so cute, okay? So this is the dress. I looked stunning on my birthday. It looks so good. So pretty happy about that. $30 for a dress, can't go wrong with that. And then uh, I got some stuff from Urban Planet, which I needed because I needed some more clothing to match some of the stuff I already had gotten. Uh, so I got a couple shirts and a pair of pants from Urban Planet. Uh, they were having a sale and it was like buy three for 15. So I got each of these shirts for $5. Are you kidding me? Couldn't pass that up. So I had to get them. And then the last thing from uh, Urban Planet when I was there, I had gotten these because they were on sale and they were $20. And I almost bought more pairs. There's a tan color that I really like too. And I'm like, oh, I really shouldn't buy them because I've already got a black pair of jeans and now I'm about to have another basic color. So let's just keep it with two pairs of pants because I'm like almost done my pregnancy, right? So I got these beautiful white stretch band jeans they're like literally perfect for pregnancy i kid you not the most perfect pants to wear for pregnancy don't spend your money on maternity pants because they're about a hundred dollars each and they aren't as good as being able to wear just regular ass jeans and that you can wear with anything and it 
looks just as good. You can still have your shirt tucked in. Because that's the thing about pregnancy pants is that you can't tuck your shirt in. And if you're the type of person that you tuck your shirts and your pants, you're not going to love it. And these are such high waisted with such a big drop in the crotch that I can put this all the way over my belly, still wear a crop top, still look pretty, still look cute. And also, because the type of fit these jogger jeans are, I can also put it underneath my belly and still look good. I'll put in a photo of me wearing it with the jeans under my belly. Super cute, like perfect jeans. So I highly recommend stretch band jeans that are like this, cinch at the top. They have been working so well for my pregnancy. They're the most comfortable. These, believe it or not, are a large and there's still room, which means these are still gonna fit me for another month or two, which is really nice. So I'm living at six months, so I'm like, I can wear jeans like this until I'm like seven, eight months. I scored, okay, $20, so cute. Um, and then the last place I bought some stuff from was Ardenes. Because I'm pregnant and I do have a lot of shoes that are like sandals, but like they're wraparounds and toe wedged ones. So like my toes obviously are not gonna fit those anymore because I'm pregnant and swelling. So really cute loafers for $10 at Ardenes. Look how cute these are. They have like this beautiful checkered print. Um, these ones are more like dragon skin, which is nice. Beautiful blue, it matches a lot of the stuff I've already gotten. So I'm like, I have to get them, they're perfect. And they have like a pad on the inside. So they're more padded. So they're good for when I'm pregnant because like, yeah, you don't want to wear these like going out for like four or five hours because like, any shoe you wear are gonna hurt you when you're walking through that long while you're pregnant, especially carrying all that weight. And so um, these are more of like to go, it's like, let's go to the grocery store, let's go um, out for lunch, like stuff like that, these are perfect for. Um, and I got also, I also got them in white. So they don't match anything. And these ones are more of like a chevron uh, version of the print, which is super nice. But yeah, so I've been wearing these a ton and I love them. They're very good and they're pretty comfortable considering. And then I also got this dress uh, for my baby shower. I was debating on wearing the white one I've already shown in one of my hauls uh, for my baby shower. But then I'm like, I'm just gonna use it for my maternity shoot because it makes more sense to do that dress for maternity and this one for my baby shower so i got this dress and it is the most beautiful dress i've ever owned regardless of what my past ones are like i've had so many other dresses for special occasions but this by far is my favorite dress i've ever owned in my life i kid you not so i got this dress for which was this got this dress on sale it was 30 dollars All of the stuff I've got over the last few weeks, uh, some for special events, some for not, some for just my daily life. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like doing these hauls. They're super easy and just chillax and I can just talk forever, pretty much. Oops. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this maternity haul. I hope you got some inspiration from these and I'm kind of being more helpful when it comes to maternity clothing because it is dodgy with maternity clothing. You're always like, oh, I don't want to spend a lot of money on maternity clothes because I'm not really going to wear them for a long time, if, if not again, because who knows. And yeah, you can always sell them, but you can't always get rid of them. So I thought I'm going to be smart when I do these maternity hauls because I want to be able to wear them after I'm pregnant as well. And you can or you don't have to, but I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have some exciting videos coming up next. I have a mental health talk about my pregnancy and some updates from my pregnancy coming in my next vlog. I have the baby shower coming up. I have lots of other 
videos that are going to be coming out soon um, as the weeks get closer and closer. A lot more baby things are going to be happening. The nursery tour is going to be happening. I have a bunch of just little videos that I want to keep posting and um, once the baby's here there will be a lot more parenting style things so like uh, sensory toys that I'm going to be making, day-to-day uh, -day routines, like lots of parental, parental kind of videos that are more informative. I am no way informed a doctor or a licensed psychologist yet. Hopefully I will be a licensed psychology psychologist in the future, but um, these are just some research findings and just a lot of things that I know from reading research and a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be doing on my child. Um, well, not doing, but like doing for my child in order for them to develop well. And so if you want to stick around and check that out and um, join the journey with me, please subscribe. Please check out my videos um, and also leave comments below of what you want to see. I know some people that I've been talking to have been um, sending me suggestions of what to do. And I'm going to take those into consideration. I will definitely do a lot of those videos that they're suggesting. But yeah, just comment down below what you want to see, hear, talk about. And I'll create those videos. I'm obviously way new to YouTube. And I'm really just doing this as an outlet. And why not? Like, i just rather, uh, you know, have a community. That's, that's what I'm about is community. And a sense of, uh, uh, you know, sh collectiveness that's what I that's what I really strive for and I really want to impact people and inspire people and be a role model but a role model sometimes can be subjective and I don't want to be on a pedestal I don't want to be a you know like a huge uh, influence in somebody's life but if I can that's beautiful but it's more so of just being able to support somebody else which is the whole goal so if you want to continue watching the videos please do subscribe check out my instagram i have more daily updates like i said earlier in this video yeah